many of you collected trading cards of all your favorite pros when you were a kid? Didn't you dream of having your own one day? Well, thanks to one man's creativity and vision, the varsity football team at Taft High School in Woodland Hills does indeed have their very own trading cards. From being raised in a family business, all my customers always wanted to see pictures of my kids. They became like my extended family. So I asked myself, how could I have a little fun with it? And I decided to make trading cards with my kids on them. My restaurant caters the team before their pregame meals. So I asked Coach K if we could actually do a fundraiser for the school, and he was all for it. I thought it was a spectacular idea um, because it's, it's nice for the kids to be able to have something that they can really hold on to. Coach K wasn't the only one who thought it was a good idea. The players themselves had a great time hamming it up for the camera. Everybody's having a good time, you know, trying to look all sweet and stuff like that, put on, you know, our nice uniform and game stuff. And uh, you know, I made sure I did my quarterback pose and stuff like that. So it, it was just fun. It was really fun. It was like I was tiptoeing the sideline. So it's like I've always imagined myself in the NFL where you have to have both feet down in bounds instead of just one like in college and high school. So that's what I decided to do. You had some guys who wanted to take the picture four times. You had some guys that were uh, so concerned with, hold on a second, you gotta, you gotta look at me this way, or, you know, hold on a second, wait, I think I blinked, or I, wait, go, wait, did I have my eye looking down, or wait, hold on, I got something in my eye, and there were just, there was all these excuses, I'm like, dude, just take the picture. The guys got to be creative with their photos on the front of the card, but perhaps the most entertaining part are the fun facts listed on the back. Did you learn anything about your teammates? Oh, definitely, I mean, you know, from uh, little pregame rituals and, uh, you know, little favorite things I didn't know about them. It was pretty interesting. I got to find out some things about the kids that I'm around them nonstop. I'm around them more than their parents are in a lot of ways, and yet I'm still finding out new things. People don't really talk, so you don't, I never really talk to them, but then I see the back of their card and then we have something in common. I actually get to talk to them and have a conversation with them. The trading cards will help preserve special memories as the years go by, but present day, they also help the school. 10% of our proceeds go back to the actual program. So whatever we make, we want to give back to the school so that they don't have to struggle and make ends meet when their school, they don't have any money to play the sports. For any school, uh, budgets are always a really big issue. And uh, the fact these these guys and this, this group is, is giving back to school, it really is a wonderful thing. Oh, and there's also a famous alumni who's trying to help raise some funding for the school. Manning over the middle, it's Smith. Current wide receiver for the New York Giants, Steve Smith. You can purchase his autographed high school card at Taft Home Games. He's got NFL cards, he's got his SC cards, you know, from college. He's got all these different cards, but, um, you know, he kept, he kept one for himself. And you can create your own trading card at utccompany.com. Just email a picture and send your stats to the back of the card. As for Taft High tonight, they beat Granada Hills 65-21, and Taft is now in the running for a top four seed. Meanwhile, Crenshaw beat Dorsey 53-12, and Alamany beats Bishop Amat 38-30.